April, we have this overall energy, that feeling that changes upon us. We are now in the heart of eclipse season and the planet of communication and travel, uh, Mercury, is going to be slowing down and ready to station retrograde. So the momentum that was felt at the end of January through March is now catching up with all of us. The eclipses, they're course correctors. They're meant to quickly align us back on track where we have basically veered off. This first one will be the start of a new cycle followed by the ending of an old cycle with the next one. April begins with this big push of Aries energy, the idea of starting or initiating and diving headfirst into things, and then slowly, as the month unfolds, the pace lessens greatly. We begin to settle into more comfortable routines. As each day progresses, we begin to slow down as Mercury finally stations retrograde at the start of eclipse season. What you need to know about your April horoscope. Hi, I'm Patricia Tate with Willow Grace Mystic, and this is your astrology forecast for April 2023. So let's dive in. Sagittarius Sun and Sagittarius Rising. On April 3rd, Mercury is going to be the first to enter the slower pace of Taurus. And for you, this is in your sixth house of your service to others, your work sector of finding a balance between home and work. It's a uh, pets, it's where you volunteer, it's your discipline, it's your habits, your mental, physical, spiritual health and well-being. So at this time, expect your mental energy to slow down over the coming weeks, especially in areas where you're needing to make decisions and plans. This could be for work or for exercise or for nutrition. Taurus is grounded, methodical and deliberate. It's in no hurry. You may need extra time to get your ideas off the ground up and moving. And then as a result of this ingress on April 5th, Mercury is working with the planet of Saturn. So any long-term plans or goals that you have, they're going to be easier for you to work on. Saturn's going to be offering you the discipline that's needed for your mental energy for you to be focused on these goals. So make your plans and move forward. And on April 6th, we're going to have a beautiful full moon in Libra. This for you is in your 11th house of of social circles, your networks, it's your dreams, it's your hopes, it's your aspirations, it's the circles and clubs that you choose to run in and that you have for work. And so Libra is the sign of scales. It desires balance and harmony. And traditionally, it's a time for you to focus on your relationships and partnerships with others. But this time, this full moon is going to reveal or illuminate areas where there may be relationship issues with these groups or these social circles or with work um, friends that are a little out of kilter or off balance. Therefore, you can choose to commit and strengthen the bond or you can choose to walk away. During this lunation, your desire is going to be focused on being uh, um, finding peace, harmony, and serenity. Then on April 7th, you're going to have this softness about you with the planet of love. Venus is in a beautiful aspect to dreamy Neptune. You can be more understanding, compassionate, and have feelings and emotions for others. This energy is going to allow you to care and help others while receiving joy in the reciprocity of the energy that you receive in return from them. And then on April 8th, the planet of mental energy, Mercury, is in this harmonious aspect to Mars and Cancer. Now, this is going to be a time where you can get excited about these future ideas and your plans. You may be more open to sharing with others your thoughts, this is Cancer, and turning them into action, Mars. And then on April 11th, Venus, the planet of love, enters the chatty and inquisitive sign of Gemini. So for you, this is in your seventh house of partnerships, your relationships, your clients, your one-on-one. -on -one. It's with marriage and significant others. So expect shameless flirting and your mental connections in love to take on a stronger role at this time. This is the perfect opportunity to work on improving all lines of communication with the people that you surround yourself with. Through this open networking, you can feel more connected with your thoughts, your ideas, while enjoying meaningful conversation. And on April 14th, there's going to be a square or tension point between Venus and Saturn. Saturn being your responsibilities, Venus representing your love and values. These energies combined may have you feeling that your responsibilities in these relationships is somehow constricting and stifling you. Don't walk away. Stay the course. Get to the bottom of the problem. Work to figure out what is the right approach so you can move forward with. Then on April 20th, we're going to have the first in a new cycle of eclipses in the sign of Aries. Now for you, Aries, this is going to, for you, Aries is your fifth house of joy, romance, creativity, children, or being childlike. The fifth house is what brings joy to you. 
Now, Aries being the first sign of the zodiac, it looks forward to spring, new life, new beginnings. Spring is the end of winter. This Aries solar eclipse is gonna be full of potent energy. The Aries Libra access is about me versus we. Who are you? Who are you with others? Topics such as independence, codependence, interdependence, collaboration, it is gonna be hot for you for the next few months with a pattern running for the next couple of years. Times of these new beginnings of starting new things or new creative activities or children, they're gonna be strong for you right now. The feeling of being ready to take action, start anew and begin these new journeys, it's gonna be amplified. Look for synchronicities of people, places and things that come into your life. Then, as the sun ingresses into the very grounded sign of Taurus, this is your sixth house of your mental, physical well-being and finding a balance between work and home, this energy at this time is looking for stability, security. It's going to be a paramount to you. So give yourself permission to slow down. Embrace a slower pace of life for your um, mental, physical, spiritual health and well-being. This is going to improve your confidence in all areas of your life because then the following day on April 21st, we're going to have Mercury retrograde and it's going to be here in Taurus until May 14th. Now retrogrades are going to require you to go back, reflect, reform, reconnect in some way. The sixth house is reconnecting to maybe an old exercise program or a nutrition program, or where do you volunteer? How do you be of service to others? How do you find this balance between work and home? In Taurus, you can become kind of bull-like or stubborn and inflexible, and you need to work to be more open to change, be, have the, um, the ability to go back and look at the themes that the sun is illuminating that maybe you need to realign or reform or reorganize. And then moving forward on April 23rd, expect an opportunity for second chances because this is fitting for Mercury retrograde. Mercury's in a harmonious aspect to Mars. Mercury is currently retrograde and having you slow down and it's kind of confusing here. And Mars in this transit is gonna make things easier for you to control this mental energy or at the very least to say, I'm ready to take forward action with these plans and these ideas. You may even strike on a new idea or an old one with I wanna be of service here or I wanna go back to this exercise or I want to work from home, to revisit or give a second look to or give something a second chance. And on April 29th, there is this harmonious aspect between Mars and Cancer and Uranus and Taurus. Now, Mars is your passion, your drive, and Uranus, this, this is where you want to change. So together, this means that change is going to be easier for you to focus on. You can take action to create these changes while um, for what you desire and what you hope for. These actions can get you closer to your future dreams, all the while embracing what the way that you complete these tasks unconventionally. So I would love to hear about how this resonates with you in the comments below. To hear updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe.